Hello everyone, welcome to Ekita platform and this is Ravind Jagir here, your electrical faculty. In this video, I am going to dictate about the converting transformer. This converting transformer is actually different from your conventional transformer that we have already studied in our uh, second and third semesters. Okay, so this converting transformer, this is for the high voltage direct current transmission system and it is having some other configurations and uh, advancement related with your conventional transformer. So we will discuss one by one. So firstly, I will start with one diagram, which is here. If I talk about its basic representation, okay, so the converting transformer uh, generally looks like this, okay. Now this much big, it is a converting transformer, okay. If I talk about the general representation, then it is a kind of like this. This is gen general representation and it is actually assembled with your converting units or you can say the 12 pulse or 6 pulse converters in which star star and star delta combinations are used okay like this these are actually used so one 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 by one i will discuss about uh, these points so i i am starting with the different combinations of the converting transformer which can be done okay so now it is having it is having the different co configurations different configuration configuration okay what are the different configurations of these okay first one if i talk about the combin uh, configurations of the converting transformer then one co uh, configuration is three phase and the two winding another one is single phase two winding okay and single phase single phase three winding single phase three winding so these are the configurations uh, or uh, main configurations which are adopted for the converting transformer so th this is the general diagram okay and uh, this is a representation if i if i am talking about the your uh, line diagram okay in that line diagram we use uh, these representations of the converting transformer and side and at this side right hand side we generally represent or uh, converting our converting units which i have already explained in the previous lectures okay now i am moving for the next one so one by one i'm i'm going to add the different points here okay if i talk about if i talk about the connections if i talk about the connections okay it may have on the wall side wall side i have already already explained what is the wall it is a kind of the switch it is kind of the switch thyristor switch rgbt switch okay so wall side if i uh, and another is the ac side so I'm first taking the wall side. If I talk about the wall side, the windings are connected. Windings are connected, connected in a star that is like this, a star and delta like this with a neutral with a neutral ungrounded okay now second point first is wall side and second is your ac side now if i talk about the ac side then it is connected it is connected parallel with neutral grounding neutral grounding ground okay grounding that you have to remember for this and when i will explain in in detail i will explain in the converting transformer unit okay now so 
one i have already discussed the connection now i will talk about what is the different from the conventional transformer the main difference can be seen if i talk about the main difference that is a leakage impedance or leakage reactance so leakage reactance in general conventional transformer is actually less we keep it actually less then we find the magnetizing current which is also a less okay and according to that we have drawn the phasor diagram in our conventional transformer but in what happens we keep the reactance leakage reactance more we keep the leakage reactance more so that i am writing here where is my cursor ha huh. yes so if i talk about the leakage leakage reactance leakage reactance okay so if i talk about the leakage reactance then it should be like that its value should be in more as compared to as compared to conventional transformer which is actually having less leakage reactance okay guys so this one but why the leakage reactance is uh, kept low because it is chosen to withstand it is chosen such that it can withstand withstand to limit to limit the short circuit current short circuit current by the walls please remember this point because it is important to write if you are writing your academic exams or if you are preparing for other exams then these points should be a beneficial okay for getting extra marks so leakage if i talk about the leakage reactance it is kept more as compared to the conventional transfer but why because it can withstand so that uh, withstand or you can say it can limit the short circuit current which can which may damage the walls because the protective seams are applied for the walls in which i have used uh, i have discussed in the last lectures number circuit okay and like this the many configurations or many arrangements many arrangements are used for protecting these walls because these walls due to these walls we can we are going to convert the ac signal to dc okay the your lightning energy to the uh, your electrical energy okay so different seams or conversion can be seen here okay now for uh, next point i want to add that in the designing related designing related if i talk about the designing if i talk about the designing of the transformer it should be like that it can withstand withstand the stress with the strength the stress and increasing 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 eddy current loss eddy current loss eddy current loss and you can see the hysteresis loss these are the major losses which were occurring in the in uh, in your conventional transformer when you have studied for the your uh, starting academics then the eddy current loss and your uh, you can say the hysteresis loss are the major factor which also depends on the frequency if i talk about the eddy current loss eddy current loss is actually world type world okay is circular so circular currents establish if a core is a solid type that's why we are using the laminations okay and laminations varying uh, for the different frequency arrangements okay so for the designing for the designing purposes it should be withstand it should withstand the stress and increasing the eddy current loss and increasing the eddy current loss okay now next point i want to add that for the back to back connections so i am using next page now look at here if i talk about in back to back links 
back to back links okay so what is the back to back links okay one after the other the transformers are connected such that such that uh, the reliable operations can be established and it's a designing for low voltage well okay that you have to remember for this point okay now if i talk about if i talk about the reduction in spare capacity so this is also a back to back links advantage so i can add here one second i can add here that it is having it is having extended it is having the extended delta configuration please remember this it is having the extra extended delta configuration configuration so that the identical identical transformer in 12 pulse converter can be used okay and which actually and which actually causes the reduction in spare capacity control capacity control okay guys so in the back to back links if uh, if you if i am using the back to back link system for the converting transformer then designing these are actually designed for that you have uh, that you have to remember for that the designing of the low voltage okay and the identical transformer in the 12 pulse converter these are actually used for the reduction for the reduction in the spare capacity that you have to remember spare capacity control okay lastly i want to add that important point or you can note it that online the tap changers online tap changers also employed for efficient transforming from low to high or high to low voltage value and tap changers may be of different different types depending on our requirement of conversion of voltage values or current values okay tap changings are having actually the tap changer actually having the sliding contact system so that the different voltage can be achieved as per our requirement i hope uh, you have understood up to this point and thank you